What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are continuing our off meta tear using the off meta weakness policy Toro team that also features Chlorophyll Executor. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button, join the Jeans community, and help me grow as a content creator. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Gail. Gail, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate it and cannot get or cannot wait to get rocking out with this squad. If you guys want to leave me rental codes, head down the link in the description below, Jeans YouTube over on Twitter, send me a DM, or just tweet at me your guys' rental codes. Or if you guys have any questions and want to chat it up, same thing applies for that. Tweet at me, DM me. I'd love to get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. But uh, let's get started here in that top left corner, rocking out with Rylou. Rylou is a great little support mod, especially due to its move set. It can learn coaching, which actually boosts attack and defense of an ally Pokemon. So I really do like that move, and I really cannot wait to use it on a physical attacker such as Groudon. We got Prankster alongside with the Focus Ash. Then we got Vacuum Wave, coaching, like I already mentioned. Then we got Copycat and Protect for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon on the squad is going to be Tauros, and you never see Tauros, just a straight normal type with Intimidate, which is one of the best abilities in the game, alongside with the weakness policy. We got Giga Impact for heavy stab damage, we got Earthquake for coverage, Throat Chop for coverage, and last but not least, we're rocking Protect. This Pokemon's really good at Dynamax, especially if its weakness policy can get procced. Middle left is going to be Yvelta over here with the Dark Aurora alongside with that as Soul Fest. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Definitely think it's a top tier restricted mod and works well on any team. It's got Oblivion Wing for stab damage and HP recovery. It's got Snarl to drop a special attack, Heat Wave for coverage, and then we got Sucker Punch for that first turn priority and a great move up against any Shadow Rider counter. Fourth Pokemon on our team is going to be our second restricted mod. It is going to be Crowd on over here with Drought for weather control and the White Herb as its item. We got Sword Stance set up, Pistol Pice Blades for stab, we got Rock Side for coverage, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Groudon's best friend for today's team. It's going to be Executor with Chlorophyll as its ability to make it double its speed in the sun. We also got the Light Clay as its item because it is rocking screens. It's got Light Screen and Reflect to help us uh, boost our defensive like defense for our squad for uh special attack and physical attack and we got sleep powder put pokemon to sleep and energy ball for our lonesome stab move final pokemon on squad is going to be umbreon probably the best evolution in the game at the moment it's got inner focus alongside with the leftovers it is a defensive specialist with snarl yawn foul play and protect guys if you want to use the team for yourself not the code is at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop on that ranked double ladder look to get some wins with this weakness policy tauros and chlorophyll executor team we're rocking with our off meta squad in master tier and look what we got here we're going up against a full meta squad in the master tier he's got a palkia and ice rider catholic stricken team with amoongus incineroar tapu finney and p2 how should i go with this one how should i play i could actually lead like pokemon like taurus or Milo. that prankster would not be bad we just we just have to watch out for rage powder i did not realize how fast this stat or this uh taurus is that thing cooks that thing absolutely cooks but uh how should i do this i could go in with uh should I go in here with? I'm thinking going in with Taurus and Rylou or Groudon and Executor. One or the other. Bring your belt in the back end for sure. Um, I'm thinking just going in with Taurus. Actually, if he intimidates me, that could be rough. Well. But I do have White Herb. Hmm. I'm going to go in with Taurus. We're going to see if we get Taurus rocking here. Taurus, Rylou right off the rip. And then we'll roll in with Groudon and your belt in the back end. Probably our best two options. All right, I'm with it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle. But this one's gonna be tough. We already know it's gonna be tough. Maybe I should have led the ground because we think he's gonna lead the. Uh, what's it called? We think he is going to lead the Incineroar, but he's definitely gonna try to pop a trick in here. So let's see who he actually get, ends up going into. Moose, maybe? We'll see. Incineroar and Palkia. God dang it, yo. Incineroar and Palkia are gonna poke out here. He has a fake out option. I could Dynamax. Um, what do I wanna do here? I'm thinking of still Dynamax and Tauros here. Maybe just proc and policy and get an after this battle. I could get a special defense boost right here and just allow him to uh I could just allow him to get that uh that trick room off because we know he's gonna go for it. Pressure's gonna come out here. I'm thinking just getting that special defense boost. Worked lovely for us, right? Dynamax go into Max Quake, pull into this, and then I guess we could just vacuum wave and go for it, or I can coach and get a defense boost. Hmm. But I could vacuum wave and just proc policy and roll off from there. Wouldn't be bad, or I can coach up and get that defense boost as well. I think I'd rather proc policy at this point, right? I think policy would be our play. Get plus two instead of plus one. I'm with it. We'll go for it, but I think he's gonna fake out my Rylou. I really do think. Hopefully, he fakes out the Tauros. 
Hopefully he picks out the Tauros. The Tauros over here with the Intimidate. It is lovely, but he's obviously just going to get off a Trick Room. And I feel like if he picks out my Rylu, there's no point in going into the Palkia. Because Palkia can get it off regardless. So I'd rather just go straight into this and try to get it. And maybe get off a turn next turn. Done with it. I'm liking this. He might party shot into me too, but then I can just start coaching. I do have that Prankster ability. Which, which is lovely. So my boy Tauros is out and about. Big old bull. Big old bull came to play. We love this bull. We love this bull so much. Okay, let's see how this one helps off your fake out in the Rylu. Ah, oh, come on. Leave my Rylu alone. Gonna take some chip damage. We'll drop a max quake. We're gonna get a special defense boost, and then we're gonna roll out after this. No comes a quake. Not gonna kill it, but still gonna do a decent amount of damage. Half damage. Maybe it's just berry. Maybe it's not. We'll find out right now. And we'll get that special defense boost, which I really want it, especially up against this Palkia. But I think it's gonna, who I think is going to Dynamax after his Trick Room pops. Yeah, there's Trick Room. It's all coming from 17,000 miles away. All right, cool. Cool. So from here, um, I think I'm just gonna strike. Their speed's already lower. Their speed's already lower. So I'm gonna go for a stab move, and I'm just gonna vacuum wave and proc policy. And just proc this policy. So he could parting shot out and make me go back to even, which could be a play. That would be a beautiful play by him. Which I think he's going to do. He's got to do that, right? Or stop into something else. That has got to be his play. He's got 100% party shot. So there goes the Dynamax. We saw that coming. We are plus one on special defense. Which is beautiful. We should be able to soak up whatever this Palkia has to offer. And then hopefully we can just get off some big damage. Some big old damage. But I wonder how much damage Palkia is really going to do to my Tauros. We know he's going after Tauros, right? I mean, I wouldn't mind if he goes after Rylou. Backing wave's going to come out here. We're gonna proc policy and we won't get buzzed. A little bit of weakness policy action happening. We are plus one now because Intimidate did my weakness minus one. I think he's gonna bring us back to normal here with a uh, party shot. So he's gonna worm win and he's gonna actually bring us back to normal just like that and take out my Rylu. The Rylu goes down here. We're back to even on the attack board. It kinda stinks, man. It really does stink. My weakness policy gone to waste. Gone to waste and he's party shotting. He is. God, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you so much. Okay. Hmm. What do I go into from here? Probably Yvelta over anybody. But then if he goes into... Oh, dude, if he goes into Calyrex, it's going to be tough. Which I think he does go into, right? Calyrex coming out here. Amoongus comes out here. Okay, so Amoongus comes out here. I'm going to drop a strike. And he can put anybody to sleep, which is whack now. He can put anybody to sleep that he wants. I hate this game. Um, hmm. What do I do? Do I just... I can't protect Yvelta. And I do not have protect on him. I could go for a blue. But yeah, Groudon's just not to play because he can just he can just uh geyser into me. And I feel like I'm gonna need Groudon for that back end. I knew this battle was gonna be tough. I knew battle number one was gonna be super tough for us. I already knew it. I already knew it. But uh at this point I could guard, but I don't think Garden's gonna play. Could lower special defense. It's probably my play at this point, and then just go for an oblivion wing if we can get that off. And chip up some damage onto Amoongus. But Amoongus is going to go first. He's just going to spore me. That's why Amoongus is like OP and trick room. It's just spore, spore, spore. And spore cannot miss. It has no chance of missing. There's no chance of missing. We have no Pokemon that can really like, change up this. Hmm. Executor probably would have been a play. Of course, he led the instant war. The one Pokemon I didn't want him leading when I was going. So, trick room's going to end rather soon. It's going to end rather soon. But the, our problem here is going to be he's going to have a Pokemon, one of our Pokemon to sleep. There comes the spore, right? Yeah. What's my Yvelta to sleep? God dang it. So he puts Yvelta to sleep. Hopefully Yvelta can wake up next turn. And this Palkia is just going to go for a warm win into my Tauros. Who should be able to eat that up. Yeah, Tauros soaks pretty well. He has that special defense boost. And he is going to be able to get off the special defense drop. On this. So if my Yvelta can start dealing some damage here, he can get some. He can get some a lot of HP taking damage too. Then we'll roll into darkness. I really don't want to kill these guys just yet. Because I know it's going to be Ice Rider Kalex in the back end. And my Groudon can, Groudon can piece that up. Groudon can get some work done on that. But he can also get work done on the me. So I'm going to have to hope I one shot. So. We go into our Dynamax. is gone. And he has one more turn left in Dynamax. And at this point, uh, I don't even know what I do. Go into a Giga Impact if we can. We know he's putting me to sleep. I'll go for the Giga Impact. And I'll just go for the blue. I'll double down Amoongus. I know I'm going to sleep. It's just like the 100% play, right? Amoongus just throws everybody to sleep. But it should be a thing. Like, the more sleeps on the field, the less the uh, sleep lasts. You know? Or the more times you use that, 
Where that should that should just be like a thing. Sleep is sometimes OP. Like in this situation, it's overpowered. Where it's just like, dude, he goes first, he puts me to sleep, I cannot move at all. And he's just slowly chipping away down. Watch, he's gonna spore me again. How many pollen puffs? Wow. They so pollen puffs, and I'm wondering who he's going after. Pollen puffs for HP recovery, which I'm kind of cool with. Is he going after my Tauros? Gotta take out my Tauros here. Yeah, he takes out my Tauros. That's fine. Can my boy please wake up? Can my Yveltal wake up, please? Can my Yveltal wake up? That would be beautiful. Thank you. Let's go. That's a big time wake up. That's a big time wake up. Living Wings gonna fly out here. We're gonna get after that thing. We're gonna do some good damage on him. Maybe KO. Let's go. That's a big time KO. And Trick Room has one more turn? It's gotta have one more turn. So I can protect out. Actually, I, actually, I can protect and sucker punch. That would have to be my play, right? That would have to be my play, protecting Sucker Punch. But I cannot protect my Yvelto. And we know that Ice Rider Cox. Which I'm going to have to Sucker Punch onto, right? And maybe, just maybe we can eat a book Ice Lance? I don't know. It's going to be cutting it close. That is going to be cutting it close. It's a close battle. It's a close battle. Hello, it's a close battle, but I'm so surprised. Actually, no, it makes sense why he didn't put me to sleep. He was taking me out. So it makes sense, yeah. He, he went for the heal. That was the right play. That was the beautiful right play. So he has Palkia back at full HP. He's going to throw out his last Pokemon. I don't know what. Oh, he actually has Incineroar too. He does have Incineroar for Fake Out. He does have Incineroar for Fake Out. And there it is. Incineroar's going to come out here. Proc or White Herb, which is really good that we have that. And I wonder what he's going to go for here. Do I protect the Groudon? This actually works a little better for us. I have to protect the Groudon here. And he sets the drought. Oh, I set the drought, which is huge. I can neglect the water damage coming through Palkia. But I think I have to protect the Groudon. I think he sees the like, Groudon as such a big threat. I wish I could double protect. I really do. I really do wish I could double protect. But at this point, do I just double down with like blades or something? I could go for Swords Dance, which would be good. How many turns left in Trick Room? I think I might go for Swords Dance here. There's one turn left in Trick Room. Yeah, I'm going to go for Swords Dance here. I'm going to try Swords Dance up and do I Snarl or do I just bl Oblivion Wing? I think I get I get I get some damage off on this sin over here. Let's see what he does. He's gonna fake out. I think Swords Dance is just our play. Like we're in the heat. He's not gonna do too much damage to us unless he gets a crit with that sp uh, spatial rend. But he might think I'm protected. With one turn left in Trick Room. I got a Swords Dance here. Swords Dance about five. I like this play. Yo, what a first battle. Going to distance. He's gonna fake out who? Groudon. So he fakes out Groudon. Should have protected my boy. Special Rend gonna come in here. Did we dodge that? You felt to dodge that. That's huge. That is huge. Big time dodge from Jeans. Oblivion Wing's gonna fly here. Trick Room is gone. And we pick up the KO. That is enormous. That is enormous. We got a crit too. Wow. RNG, thank you very much. I'll take it all day. Sorry for this guy. Um, he could pop a Trick Room. That's our problem. I really wish I would have gotten off that Swords Dance. Um, hmm. Talix can come through here. I think we just Blades. I think we just Blades and we go after his Palkia, right? Blades and get after the Palkia. What do we go for Rock Slizzle? I think we just Blades because I can always Sucker Punch next turn if that thing wants to protect. Uh, do I Snarl here as well? I am going to end up Snarling. It's tough. This is real tough. This is such a good battle. He's got to protect and pop a Trick Room with one of them, right? With one of them, he's protecting. He's popping Trick Room. We can see this coming all day. Unless he's just going straight into a Glacial Lance. Which could be tough. But I just see him protecting that Calyrex at this point. Right? He's got to protect the Calyrex. That's why I'm going into the Snarl. If we, may, if we don't... If this thing goes into a Glacial Lance, we have a high chance of losing this guy. I do not know. I do not know. Let's see what he does. He does not protect. That's real rough. Snarl's going to chip up some mean damage on these guys. Well, I did a lot to that Palkia. Wow. This guy's chipping. I just need my Yvelta to survive one turn. I really do. I actually need my Yvelta to survive one turn. Blade's gonna fly here, do some decent damage here. And it takes out the Palkia clean. So we need one of these guys to eat up this Glacial Lance. Just one of you guys. I oh, know he pops Trick Room. I have Sucker Punch. Cool. I have Sucker Punch. That should be GG's, right? Sucker Punch should be able to take him out. Does your boy thrive in this first battle? But it's higher accuracy. Rock Slide does. I'm Sucker Punching straight up. Let's get after him. He pops Trick Room. He's probably like, yo, I'm gonna drop a nice little Glacial Lance, but now we're coming in hot with this Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch flying here. And I think Sucker Punch should be able to pick up the KO. So that's a huge victory. 
that's a huge victory for us. Yvelta definitely clutching up with a crit, waking up early. RNG definitely did us a huge favor in this battle. But still, yeah, we got Tauros out there. We got to showcase him a little bit. Hopefully, we can use him in second and third and get him out there a little bit more. But Sucker Punch doesn't even come. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sucker Punch doesn't even come close. Sucker Punch did like nothing. Can you eat this Groudon? Okay, cool. Groudon, can you end this battle, please? All right, we won this battle. Cool. Because now I guess just Sucker Punch can take that out. Wow, yo, I got scared for a second. I got scared for a second, yo. Sucker Punch didn't even come close to taking it out when I really thought it was going to take it out. Phew. Phew. Luckily, my boys were able to soak up on red, and we won that battle regardless. The only problem with using off meta teams in the master tier is you are just going up against all the best teams. Like this team is phenomenal that we're going up against. Route on Charizard squad with Zassian, Grimmsnarl, Incineroar, and Storm Drain Gastron. It's definitely looking tough for us. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like maybe Executor could be a great lead for us. Alongside with Groudon, but then I gotta watch out for Intimidate. Intimidate could definitely roll out strong up against us. But then I'm gonna just bring Yvelta, and then I think in the back end, maybe go Umbreon. We do have the Yawns and all that, or I could just go Intimidate with the Tauros. He has a few Pokemon that can't really fare too well to Intimidate, like Groudon, Incineroar, and Sassian. Hmm. What do I wanna do here? Umbreon or the Tauros? Let me see. Let me see you, Umbreon. I mean, you have Foul Play and all that, so I'm kinda leaning towards you. Yeah, let's go Umbreon. I love me some Umbreon. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But this one's going to be tough. Like, in my opinion, this is the best team. Or at least I do the best when I'm playing ranked. Off screen and all that, which I don't do too often. But this would be the team that I use. This would be the team that I use. It's just so good and so versatile. You have plenty of different leads to do. Charizard is still an absolute menace in the sun. You have Groudon. He can boost team speed as well. You got Zacian. Absolutely ridiculous. You got Grimstone. I think it's Screen's Grimstone as well. And he's going to actually lead in some more, which kind of hurts me a little bit. But I do have the White Herb. I do have the lovely White Herb. And I am going to put... Uh, I am going to put the uh, the Charizard to sleep if I can. And I'm going to try to drop rocks. Tim Mason, come out here. Herb is happening. I could end up Dynamaxing Groudon here. I could Dynamax Groudon. Do I want to do that though? Kind of a little bit. Do I just rip in the hair? Yes. That's my play. Yeah. I'm going to Dynamax and I'm going to try to put the stars over to sleep. Because I feel like he's going to pick out the ground on slot, right? Executor is obviously fast on the field. And this guy's really thinking of what he should do. We're hoping he's faking. Well, this is what I think he's doing. I think he's picking out the ground on slot. And then if he does that, we're going to be Dynamax. We can dodge that. Could potentially take out Incineroar. And then we can just roll into a big time sleep. Which could be huge. But if he puts my Executor to sleep. Or not my Executor to sleep. If he fakes out my Executor. Then uh, we could be sitting a little tough. But I still like where we're sitting at that point. Unless he doubles down into my executor, but I really want to put this Charizard to sleep. I really want to put this Char Char to sleep. Charizard's a big old problem. He's a big time problem, but we're going to Dynamax your ground here. Let's get rocking. Let's get rolling with this guy. Did I Dynamax last game? Oh, it was Tauros. I led a Tauros. He did a little bit of work. Got off some decent damage, but he was just uh, intimidating me, parting shotting onto me left and right. So I wasn't able to get like the fullest potential out of him. But ground's going to Dynamax. We're going to go up to 414 HP. Big old boy right here. Big old boy. And let's see what he does. Sleep Powder should come out here. And he's just going to go straight for a party shot. So this might work beautifully. Because Groudon should be able to outspeed and potentially just take out this, uh... Take out this, uh, what's called a one-shot. Oh, of course this thing's Shuka buried. He's going to party shot on me. I think I'll set up a light screen next turn. Just get a defensive boost. Or I can just put his next Pokemon to sleep. I, I, I If I had to guess, that thing's Charty buried too. So Quake's going to fly out here. Dang, dude. I hate the berries, man. That thing's obviously going to be Charty Berry. Um, but special defense boost is going to be huge for the team. I could set up a reflect next turn too. It really depends who he brings out here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for, oh, he goes straight for a flare blitz. Okay. The flare blitz is out and we're dead. That's fine. I'll take that all day. I'll take that turn all day. I will take that turn all day. I really would. Because he's going to take a ridiculous amount of damage here. And solar power is going to chip up onto him. I think we triggered the charty berry and we might want to go into here and just snarl out. Do I snarl out or do I go into you? You? I could strong with you. Who would do more damage? Probably Yvelta, right? 
Hey, you would obviously do it. This thing's so bulky. Oh, uh, yeah, I said we save our, our Umbreon here. We should go right into you. But Snarl would do more damage from him. Uh, I'll cool with that. Yeah, Snarl, drop that charge charge special attack while we are special defense boosted. Well, at least my ground on is. And then we get after it. And we have Dark Aurora, which can make our Dark Moves do more damage. So, yeah, we're going to proc this uh, Charty Berry here. We know he's rocking with it. And we're just going to Snarl across the board. Even though Snarl might not KO. But still Snarl. Yeah, I'm still going to Snarl. We're still going to rip into it. Please, Charizard, don't wake up. Two-turn sleep. That's all I asked for. Not a three-turn sleep. Three-turn three turn sleep is too much to ask for. Two-turn sleep is totally reasonable. So hopefully this Charizard sleep one more turn, and we get ripping. We get ripping. So I would love to hit it with a Snarl before it wakes up. I'd love to rip into it with a Snarl. But I'm surprised the thing went to a Flare Blitz. Flare Blitz with Incineroar, which, which didn't actually work too bad for him. He picked up the KO, but we got pretty much our benefits out of Exit. I was hoping we could just get off the screen next time. But I'll take it all day. Put in a Charizard to sleep in Dynamax. He wakes up! He wakes up. God dang it. At least we're special defense boosted. He goes for a speed boost. He wakes up, man. And he's going to go for a party shot anyway. God dang it, yo. One turn sleeps are ridiculous. I mean, we got one last turn, so it, it's only it's only, uh, it's only only right for that. And we don't take out Incineroar. He lives on one with a free focus, Ash. You get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. Get out of my face with that. He's able to party shot. He's able to dip out of here. That lucky little biscuit. I might have to swap an Umbreon here. But of course he survives on one. He survives on one. But at least our ground on sitting at full, uh, full attack here. Full attack. It got intimidated, but we way hurt it off. Wow, that hurts the soul, man. That hurts the soul. But Charizard now outspeeds everybody. He's going to go into Zassian here. And we're going to drop a nice, lovely little rock here. And I know it's Charty Berry. Like, I know for a fact it's Charty Berry. If not, it's dead, but it's got to be Charty Berry, right? Yeah, 1,000%. Every single Charizard nowadays is Charty Berry. So we're going to rip into here. We're going to do this. Do some nice, lovely damage. And, oh my god, we almost picked up a KO. I could Sucker Punch that, which is exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to take, actually, Solar Power. Nope, no more Solar Power. But Sucker Punch might be able to take you out, which I would love. Buffett's going to chip up. Yeah, we're going to Sucker Punch into that. And I'm going to get after that with my... uh. My quake action. Can Blade take me out? That's gonna be kind of close. But yeah, I'm just gonna quake here. And Sucker Punch can come in hot. Even though we are uh minus one on attack, I still feel like this takes out. Charizard's a lightweight. He's a lightweight. There's no way he outbulks this, right? There's no way. There's no way he outbulks this unless he guards, but I just don't see him guarding. I just do not see him guarding. But not a bad turn for us. We still have Umbreon in the back end. If I can land this quake, this could be beautiful. So Sucker Punch comes in here. KO, please. Let's go. Big time KO from you about the Sucker Punch first turn priority is huge. And I wonder what Zassian is going for. Is he going for Blade? He's got to be going for Blade. He does go for Blade. Can you eat this up, Brandon? Eat this up, please. A little soak up action. You have 300 HP. Eat this up, buddy. Bang, bang, bang. Big time eat up. Ground's going to be able to drop a quake. And I think this picks up KO. I think this picks up big time KO, right? See you later. See you later. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Big time KO. Let's go. Let's go. Executor set us up beautifully so far. Uh, he's going to bring out Incineroar. We can sucker punch it. Take it out. And I wonder who his last Pokemon is. I do wonder who his last little Pokey is. I do wonder. Incineroar and it's got to be his other restricted mod. Who is it? Is it Groudon? It's got to be Groudon. It's got to be Groudon. And we have Umbreon to fare pretty well up against that. Umbreon can soak up some shots. I can yawn him if I have to. I can do a decent amount. But uh, I can start going for Heat Waves too with the Velta and try to throw some burns on the field. There's a lot of different options. And the Velta already outspeeds the uh, Incineroar, so going after. It outspeeds actually everything, so I mean, he might just fake me out. I think I just go for a Heat Wave and I try to protect the ground. Hypnase can come out here. I'm down to just start chipping and then have Umbreon in that back end. I really like it. So Hypnase can come out here. I'm just going to drop a Heat Wave, look for a burn, and I think he's going to go after my ground. I wonder who he's going to fake out those, but I'm just going to protect it regardless. So Groudon will protect to try to get off another turn with him, and then we'll go from there. So protect you, and then just roll into a heat wave. Heat wave. Yeah, yeah. Sinor's really still on one HP. Look at that, yo. That's the tiniest speck of HP. It's the tiniest speck of HP. Get this thing out of here. Hopefully he fakes out my Groudon slot. But it's kind of good that we have Yvelto on the field. He's not affected by blades. 
I don't know if he's going to want to go into blades. He might just drop a rock slide, which probably would be his better option. Because I'm only on 30 HP on the ground on slot. But your belt is going to be fast on the field. It's huge plus. That's a huge plus for us. But I don't see him taking out my Yvelta. Unless he, like, doubles down. But he can't double down because I'm going to land this heat wave and I'm going to take out his Incineroar. Yo, we're thriving. We're thriving. This is going to put us 2-0. Oh. We protect the ground, huh? Beautiful. Go for the fake out on that slot. Please fake him out. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Nice little protect on that fake out. And then we're going to drop a heat wave. And we missed. We missed Incineroar. Oh, my God. Dude, this game this game just looked at me in the eye and said, oh, you really are going to hit Incineroar? Nah, I'm not having it. He goes for Stone Edge now. And your belt is able to so Okay, cool. Wow, that hurts, yo. That hurts. Uh, at this point, I'll drop a Blades. Blades will do most damage. And I'm going to go for the heat wave again. Hopefully, this connects. How did I miss that heat wave on Incineroar? Get out of my face with this game, dude. <laughs> Get out of my face with this game. So great little protect from us. Um, actually, like we didn't even have to protect there. Fake out one of the thirty damage. We would have been able to soak. So I'm surprised he didn't drop like a double hitting move. Right. Well, he's rocking Stone Edge probably over Rock Slide, so that might be his reasoning behind that. But I love Incineroar's hands. Like, look how big his hands are, yo. You can palm like nine basketballs in those. <laughs> his hands are enormous, yo. Look at his thumb. Heat wave comes out here. We're out on dodge it this time. Okay, cool. We get rid of Incineroar, though. I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. What is going on? Why am I missing heat waves? I go first. Cool. I'm able to send the blades here. Let's me know I outspeed him, too. Let me chip up some damage. Beautiful. He's going to go for heat crash. Who you taking out here? I thought the might be able to eat that. Oh, no. It goes after ground. I'm cool with that. I'm just going to yawn and get some HP recovery here. It's GG's. G to the G's, yo. Jeans with the win. We got Umbreon chilling back here with leftovers. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna yawn this little this little legendary. You're saying no chance for the dark evolution. Yawn coming in hot. I could actually just foul play it. Yeah, yo, let's let's dump on it. Let's say foul play picks up the win. And we'll go for oblivion wing. Just for a little bit of HP recovery action. Let's make it happen. Oblivion wing coming out here. Give me some HP, baby. Probably get about 20 here. Let's see. 20 it. Are we 20 in action it? 63 to 83. Ow, a lot more. 36. Stone Edge coming in hot. That probably... Actually, Yvelta might be able to eat. He does not, but, yo, Foul Play should be able to come out here. Pick up the big time KO. And if it doesn't, Umbreon is a defensive specialist. He can soak up another shot. Foul Play coming in here. I think it KOs, right? Umbreon for the KO. And we get a crit just to rub it in. I think it was KO. And regardless, let's go. We dominate that second battle up against another meta team. And we guaranteed ourselves a win. Third and final battle coming at you guys. Let's grab ourselves a perfect record. We're dominating today's video. Glad I'm getting these ones on recording. But let's grab ourselves that perfect record. Look how early matchup. We're going up against a Zapdos, Shadow Rider Calyrex, and Zassy Team with also Glaring Moltres, Lapras, and Grimstone. So a great team right here. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like Tauros and Rylu could be solid for us, but at the same time, it could be a problem if he wants to lead like Shadow Rider Calyrex or even Zassian. Which he probably gonna lead. Like, this is so tough. This is so tough, but I want to showcase them. I definitely want to showcase them, so I'm going to lead them too. Obviously, Executor and Groudon, I think, would be our best bet for a lead. I'm going to bring uh, Yvelta and Groudon in the back end. Because you guys already know the deal with this. We are guaranteed ourselves winning record. So, third and final battle, I like to just have fun and showcase the Pokemon that I have the video on. So, let's do it. Let's get Tauros out here. Even though we might get dumped on turn one, it's all good if it happens. We just can't get swept in this battle. That's our only worry. That's our only worry. Sitting at 2-0, and, oh, and I got something in my, in my eye. So, if you guys see me, like, scratch my eye throughout the video, that's why. Something's in there. Something tiny. A little speck. A little speck is in there. No Shadow Rider Calyrex. And of course there's Shadow Rider. And the bird. And the bird. Um. Did I proc policy or 9 max? Could indeed do that. I could indeed do that and then slow him down. Vacuum Wave is not. Cannot hit Calyrex, which is a little tough for us. But Timonade's gonna come out here on special attackers. Is, uh. Yeah, they're special attackers. Boo. Boo. Alright, uh. Hmm. Really want Dynamax. I really, really want Dynamax. I'm just gonna Dynamax back strike. Try to get off some damage on him. And what do I do? Good coach, but I think I'm just gonna proc policy. Let's proc this policy. See how this one plays out here. Tauros, let's get after it, dude. Let's get after it. I feel like we can eat up one shot. Hopefully, he's not doubling down on me. But we should be able to outspeed the bird, right? Tauros is fast. He's low-key fast. 179, I think that outspeeds the bird. I think that can outspeed the bird, which could be gorgeous. So we Dynamax Tauros. Is he Dynamax the bird? He is not. He's going to protect. Oh. 
Ooh. This could be good. Can we outspeed that bird? Can we outspeed that bird? Please show me we outspeed that bird. Outspeed the bird. Outspeed the bird. Let's go. That's just that should be bye bye zapters. That should be bye bye zapters. Oh my god, that's huge. He protected the Caldrex for some reason. I do not know why, but I, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. We say bye-bye to you. We slow down the Calyrex too. Woo. Yeah, I like that. I can start coaching you. If he throws out a physical attacker, I will coach up. But if he doesn't, I will just do stuff. If there's that physical attacker. Let's coach up. Coach up time. Let's coach it. Let's coach it and boost your special defense here too. Right here. Bang. And coach up. Let's do it. That defense boost is huge. We're cranks here too. I love it. I love it. I wonder if we can eat. I don't know if we can eat though. That's our problem. This is going to be our problem here. Our problem here is going to be if we can eat. Up these shots. I don't think we can. I don't think we can because if he behemoth blades into my Tauros alongside with a, uh, oh, he's going to Dynamax Cali. Oh, I would have went after Cali, but I didn't think that. I was going to say if he behemoth blades and now Dynamax moves, that would take me out. But I wonder what he's doing here. I wonder, we do get this coach off. And a Dynamax Calyrex. You don't see that too often. You do not see that too often. Coaching comes out here. Just want that defense boost. I really like that. I could vacuum maybe if we bring it low. But I don't think we outspeed Calyrex now, do we? Behemoth Blade comes out here. It'll be huge if we do. Then I get the special defense boost. But he's going to be Behemoth Blade into Taurus. Taurus, you should be able to eat that. Thank you, defensive boost. And go first, Taurus. Yes, Taurus. Yes, Taurus. I love you. That should be bye bye, ass. That's bye bye Zassy. That's, yo, Toro is my guy. Big Bull coming in hot. Big Bull coming in hot. You know, I forgot to even ask you guys question of the day. Do you guys keep up with the leaks for Gen 9? I know some people, like myself, I keep up with all the leaks. I like to know what's going on. But some people don't do it. Some people don't want to be spoiled. Let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below. He ends up doubling down into my Taurus, which I do not. Oh, I do mind. Because now I can't sucker punch. Oh, I can't vacuum wave either. Wow. Ouch. It's a huge turn. That's a huge turn for him. That's a very valuable turn for him. Um, at this point, I could bring out Grav. He's gonna get Grim Nape boost here too. Do I want to do? I could coach a Groudon. I could coach a Groudon. I do have a Soul Fest. This might be our turn to pop in here because Snarl can do some good old damage. What moves do you have, Riley? Could, yo, I could copycat. Copycat a snarl. Yeah, let's run it. Let's copycat a snarl. Let's copycat a snarl. Oh yeah, let's copycat a snarl. Special attackers on the field. Let's copycat a snarl. Let's copycat a snarl. Let's do it. So snarl's gonna fly here. Let's copycat. Onto how's copycat work? I'm just gonna do it anyway. Copycat's a little weird. Let's go by first move. Let's go by first move. I kind of don't know how copycat works. I only use it like once. And that was with like a live part copycat team. And I would copycat a copycat. That's the real question. And copycat snarl. Psychic. Okay. Oh, wow. And that don't count. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. That, the, that don't. That, that doesn't count. Is it terrain? So I can't do anything with Rylou? This is all considered first time priority. Phantasm gonna fly out here. We're able to soak. That's beautiful. I'm gonna keep strong. Wow, Rylou. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, Rylou? The defense gets dropped, but still, these are special attackers here. He's gonna strong me. Fine, I'm gonna just keep strong on him. Let's play the game. I'll play the game. I'll play the game all day. Rylou can't do anything until terrain's gone. I think shows its orb too. So let's just strong again. Riley, do I swap you? Or I can coach, I guess. I can coach. I mean, that can make Sucker Punch do more damage when it's really dead. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. That's all my little buddy can do. Good work, Riley. <laughs> That's annoying. He's going to end a Mask Garden. I'm totally fine with that. That was kind of a dumb Max Guard. He should have used his last turn because he's not going to be able to eat up a Snarl after his. And we outspeed it. Thank you to the Max Strike from Taurus. And so I'm just gonna poke out here. Just going to hit up onto that uh that bird. Make a minus one. 
That's huge. Snarl is just gorgeous at this point. Snarl is just amazing. So there's that. He's gonna nasty plot up. That's fine. He's already he's back to normal now. He's back to normal. He's back to normal, and this Calyrex cannot eat up this next snarl. Actually, it might be able to. We're minus one now, but still. It doesn't have his Dynamax health anymore, so Snarl's gonna fly here. And I'm going to coach, I guess, again. <laughs> I guess we'll coach again. I guess we'll coach, because once this terrain ends out, I'm just gonna pop up with a bunch. That should be GG's. We should be sitting beautiful here. And I have ground on in the back end. I have ground on in the back end to drop a rock on that thing. So I'm just gonna keep coaching here. Blow in the whistle for no reason. It's just better than nothing, you know? It's better than nothing. So I was gonna come out of here. Bye bye, Cali. Bye bye, Cali. See you later. Yo, Rilo and Tauros ripped it this battle, but that's gonna be a perfect record for us, yo. 3 0. I love grabbing ourselves perfect records or even winning records with off meta team up against teams like this. We dodged a hurricane. It's only 70% actually, so RNG wasn't that hot for us. But yeah, I'm just keep rolling here. I think I can just oblivion wing at this point. I think I'll just oblivion wing. And I, I guess I, I guess I'll go for another copycat. Just to, just to, just to go for it. <laughs> like I know it's gonna miss, but still, it's just fun to use. We do a front flip. That's a celebratory front flip. Hurricane comes out here, and it doesn't even affect him. I'm gonna drop this. Bang! Chipping up some damage. Chipping up some damage. Yeah, I'm legit just waiting for this turn to come out here. It's gonna nasty pot up. That's fine. Can this terrain please end? In this terrain, please end. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. All right, now we can just go. In. We could just go into sucker punches. I think that's our best bet. And I'll boost my attack again. I'm just gonna keep boosting my attack. Dun, 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 dun. Bop, chipping up some damage. Berserk's oh, Berserk's popping. It's actually kind of scary, Loki. Loki, scary. Coach can come out here. I'm gonna boost my attack because another sucker punch should be able to take that out. We do have a soul fest. I think we're fine. Just soaking up shots here. What's he gonna go for? He's gonna go for a snarl. That's fine. That's GG's. That is GG's. That is GG's. Sucker Punch should be able to come out here. I could vacuum wave him as well, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Just chip up a little. Oh, we don't even need it. Life Force gonna come out here. And that is GG's. That is GG's. Sucker Punch gonna fly. Vacuum wave can come in hot. And there you guys go. A perfect record with this amazing off meta team. Sucker Punch flying here. Why'd it, why'd it fail? Why'd that just fail? Can you not use two sucker punches in a row? Is that a thing? Is that is that a thing? Or did I make it fail? Oh no, he wasn't. Uh, he was going for nasty spot. That's why. My fault. My fault. That's, that's my fault. That's my fault. He's going for nasty spot. Also, I was so confused why I failed because he wasn't going for an attack and move. But yeah, it's totally fine. He cannot go for attack and move. What are you gonna do? Keep nasty plotting? That's fine. You can keep nasty plotting. Because the next time you move, I'm going to go first. <laughs> and I'm just going to take you out. You were just prolonging your death. You were just prolonging your death. You were just prolonging your death at this point. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to try to make the read of him going for another nasty plot. I'm just going to keep doing this. Just keep doing this. His special attack will not go higher. Wait, how many sucker punches do we have left? Four. Oh, yeah, we got we can run this we can run this out all day. Run it up. You really gonna go for another nasty spot? Cause once you move, you're done. You're done. And my Rylu can do this all day. That's fine. That's fine. Rylu, keep chipping. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going for for an unsucker punch. You know. It's not happening. It's not happening. I'm not, I'm not allowing you to win this game. There it is. He goes for a move, and there's the sucker punch to KO. See, I was just going to keep throwing him until he's going to go for a move. And there it is, guys. 3-0 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A beautiful, perfect record with this amazing weakness policy Toro team and Chlorophyll Executor.
Executor showed up in that battle number two, put that Charizard to sleep, and had us win that battle. If he wasn't putting that Charizard to sleep, we definitely would have lost it. But one last huge shout out to my boy Gale for leaving his team in my Twitter DMs. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys want to leave me teams, head over to my Twitter, Gene's YouTube. Link is down in the description below. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all my videos come out. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.